This video is sponsored by videoblogs.com. In the spirit of videoblogs hashtag creator to creator initiative, here is what I made using my videoblogs subscription. Videoblogs is for people like us, the motion designers, the VFX artists, the filmmakers, and it is a subscription based service so you don't have to pay for each and every video that you download. You can use these videos in your commercial projects, your short films or even your YouTube videos and monetize it without any worries regarding copyright issues as all this stuff is 100% royalty free. So if you like what you saw, make sure to check out the link in the description below to get a free 7 days trial to video blocks and save 40% on over 3 million video clips including After Effects templates, 4K footages and motion backgrounds. So create something special and share it with hashtag creator to creator. Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a really really cool looking transition in After Effects which I don't know what to call it but let's call it a zoom out transition. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. So as always, let's start by creating a new composition. This is gonna be our main comp, so let's rename this to main composition 1920 into 1080 30 frames. Oh, this time we are going with 60 frames because this looks really really good. 60 frames looks 60 frames make it look really really cool. So I'm gonna go with 60 frames. You can go with 30 frames as well if you want to. And the duration I'm gonna go with 10 seconds should be good enough and hit OK. So right off the bat, I'm gonna start by creating composition for my footages and these are the footages that I got from video blogs. They have some really cool collection of footages up to 4K resolution. Here we have all the footages that are 1920 to 1080, but you can also download them in 4K as well. So let's create a new composition for our footages. Let's rename this to 01. You can rename it to anything, of course, that you want to. And I'm going to drag in, let's say, this footage. And then basically, I can just duplicate it. So I'm going to create four copies and you can of course create as many copies as you want or and use as many footages or even images that you want to use. So let's open all the compositions. Let's go to the second one. I'm going to delete this and drag in my second footage. I'm going to use this footage for the second one. We don't need the audio. Let's delete the third one. Let's drag in maybe this footage. Let's go to fourth, delete this one and drag in this one. Then I'm going to go into my main composition and drag in all the four compositions just like that. And then what I can do is, we, first of all we don't need the audio. I'm going to hit S to bring down the scale properties. And I'm going to set the scaling to around, let's go with maybe 50%. Yep. And then we can align it using the align tab. So you can just align this up just like that. And by the way, if you don't have this align tab, you can go to windows and there you'll find it's align tab. Then we can select this one and I want to align this right over here. Select this one and I want to align, align this right over here. Select this one and align it right over here. Then what I'm going to create is a transition from this video to this video. So first of all, let's go and create a new null object. Let's bring this on the top. Hit A to bring down the anchor point and I'm going to set this to center. So I'm going to set this to 50 by 50. So that the anchor point is in the center, but it, it is not necessary, but I like to keep it that way. Hide this up. Let's hit Ctrl A to select them all and hit U to close them all. Select the null object or maybe select all the layers or the composition and parent this to the null just like that. So now if I move the null, it's going to move everything like that. So let's center this up, hit Ctrl Z and then what I can do is let's start and animate this null object so let's pretty quickly rename this to control controller maybe and let's hit p to bring down the position properties and hold shift and hit s to bring down the scale properties so now we have both the properties so now what i can do is i'm going to scale this up first of all create a keyframe by hitting on the stopwatch and i'm going to scale this up to 200 like that and let's place it in our first footage position to somewhere around 1920 and this I guess will be 1080 yep there we go 
so I'm gonna go to let's say one second click on this diamond icon to create a keyframe go to two seconds and then I can animate the scale and the position so I'm gonna scale this down to 100 just like that and I'm gonna set the position to maybe 960 by 540 there we go then let it add, let it play for some time maybe around 20 frames let's create a keyframe just like that go to 3 seconds and 15 frames and let's set this to 200 and change this to 0 this to 0 so now first our footage is gonna play just like that normally then it's gonna zoom out like that and then zoom in to the next footage so it's a really cool transition to play with so now we can select all the keyframes and hit f9 to easy ease those keyframes go to graph editor and create kind of a peak to make the animation nice and smooth so something like that and the same thing right over here there we go so let's see how our animation looks let's do a pretty quick RAM preview yep so as you can see it looks really nice really simple to create and really interesting effect and obviously you can add as many footages as you want and you know do the transition and any of the footage just change the position and the scale property to animate it on the different kind of a different kind of a footage so it's really simple you can also turn on the motion blur which will make things look a bit more really nice and organic as you can see it as it adds this really nice motion blur and it is really simple and easy to create you can create some really cool slideshows as well using this technique so yep i have a really cool collection of slideshows to which i'll provide the link in the description below so make sure to check out so yep that is a wrap for today i hope this video helps you guys and if it does make sure to subscribe comment and like and i'll see you in my next video till then take care thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw stay creative